Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video I'm doing a spooky book haul. So let's jump right into it. I've picked up a few things over the last couple of weeks, most of which were picked up at a used book sale for $9, so I'm pretty proud of that and I'm excited to talk about them. So let's get into it. The first one, which is actually a book I went to the bookstore looking for, and that was Dark Matter by Blake Crouch. I've actually already read this one. Loved it, surprisingly so. Like, I didn't think I'd be really into this. Dark Matter centers on a man who was a physicist or something and he kind of gave up his career to have a family and then one day when he's walking home he's kidnapped by a mysterious stranger and he wakes up in this alternate reality of his life and he spends the rest of the book trying to get back to the reality he knows with his wife and his family. Then I picked up Jennifer Hillier's Jar of Hearts. This is about a young woman who seemingly involved with the murder of her best friend when they were teenagers and her boyfriend at the time was the serial killer known as the Sweet Bay Strangler. So this young woman, she goes to jail for it and then years later when she gets out, the crimes start up again. I will tell you, I've already started reading this one and it's dark. It's giving me Karen Slaughter vibes, but I definitely want to read more from this author because this book pulled me in immediately. Then I picked up The Shining Girls by Lauren Bukes. So this is also a horror thriller. I think this is about time travel again. So there's kind of a theme with uh, Dark Matter. So this is about a killer who can time travel. And the main character is this woman named Kirby who is one of the Shining Girls. I don't know exactly what that means, but all I know is that the killer in the story wants to kill her. And I think she teams up with the police to try to catch him. I don't think it has anything to do with The Shining, but that's all I think of when I see The Shining Girls. Like, what is a Shining person? I don't know. We'll find out. Then I picked up The Apartment, which is a haunted house horror, but it's set in an apartment, obviously. This one sounds very layered. I've heard a few people say that they really enjoy this one, and I love apartment settings and stories. I feel like there's so many things that can go wrong. You're in a more confined space than if you were in a house, and I love it. So I'm hoping it gives me, you know, Rosemary's Baby vibes, the Sentinel vibes, other stories centered around apartment buildings. I hope it plays up a lot on the setting. Then I found Joe Hill's Horns. So this is, I think, a love story. It's about this woman who's brutally murdered and her boyfriend is suspected of the crime. And then one night he wakes up with a hangover and some horns on his head. This was actually adapted into a movie starring Daniel Radcliffe and I think it's a, a comedy so I'm expecting it to be funny. I haven't read any other Joe Hill aside from Nosferatu which is one of my favorite books so I do really want to dive into his work a bit more. So then I received my Nightworms subscription box package and I received one of my most anticipated reads of the year and that is The Paul Bearers Club by Paul Tremblay. So I believe this story centers on a young man who is it was a part of some club in high school where they were pallbearers and funerals, low attended funerals. And one of the people in the club is this girl who's kind of popular and she likes to take photos of dead people. I don't know. Years later, the kid in this, he decides to write a memoir about this experience and the girl somehow gets a hold of his manuscript and begins making edits to it. So I guess you're reading his manuscript and also her edits at the same time. It sounds weird and I don't know what to expect, but it's also very intriguing. I have yet to read a Paul Tremblay book. I'm hoping this is going to be the year, so maybe this will be the first one. Then lastly, I picked up, or I received, Other Terrors, an inclusive anthology. This has some stories from some really amazing writers, including Tana Reeve Du, Jennifer McMahon, S.A. Cosby, Stephen Graham Jones, Alma Katsu, and more. It's about different cultures, different backgrounds. I'm hoping to learn of different kinds of monsters, different urban legends. I don't know really what the focus is of this. In Other Terrors, horror writers, many from underrepresented backgrounds, have created stories of everyday people, places, and things where something shifts, striking a deeper much more primal court of fear. So there you have it. This is my recent book haul and I've already started digging into it, which I'm pretty proud of. Yeah, let me know what books you like from this list, which books you think I should read next, and I will catch you next time, guys. Bye.